I'm not surprised that it came back because everyone was so sad when it went off the air. Of course, I don't really remember because I'm too young for that, but uh, I'm so glad it's back. The juggernaut, the show that will go down in history, and now it's back, and I'm on it. I feel so honored that we're going to be on the same night as the other two Law & Order shows. I can't believe it. We're going to be the lead-in to the other shows. So I think we're going to really give it a boost in the ratings. You know what I mean? I'm feeling good about it. I am Lieutenant Dixon. I'm kind of the badass boss lady. And I think I was brought in because Anthony Anderson and Jeffrey Donovan think a lot of themselves and think that, you know, they got it covered and know what they're doing, but they just really needed like an alpha female to come in and show them the ropes. So they asked me to come in and wanted to know if I could go head to head with them. And I'm like, are you kidding me? I could, I could take them out with one eye closed and one eye hand behind my back. So not to worry, I got it covered. Well, you know, I heard a lot about Anthony and Jeffrey, and to be honest, it wasn't really the greatest stuff. So I was worried coming in, but the truth is, you know, with my NYU classical training, I really felt like when I stepped on stage, <laughs> Anthony was absolutely so unimpressed that <laughs> we became friends right away. I mean, of course I've met Anthony through the years and he's worked with so many of my friends and it just felt like I was coming home to hang out with my old pal. And Jeffrey and I actually did go to NYU together and get a classically trained education. And so we were reciting Shakespeare in the corner um, and Anthony was like doing a comedy bit, but uh, we have all meshed very well and the director tells them to listen to me, so they do. And that's why it looks like I'm the boss. One of the most special things that has happened to me since I joined the cast of Law & Order was Mariska invited me over to her house and served me a glamorous meal of Shake Shack and we hung out with her family and she welcomed me aboard and as I was there, she texted and called somebody, you know, fancy and said, Cam and I are friends and I wanna do a crossover and I wanna be friends on the show with her so, you know, let's see, I'm so excited about that. You know, to be honest, I've been watching Law & Order since it premiered in the 90s, in 1990, I think. I was in, just getting out of graduate school, and it was the only show in town, and everyone wanted to be on it. And in fact, I was off doing off-Broadway theater, and everyone would be so excited when they got cast on Law & Order. And my very first television show was Law and & Order. And I remember the play I did directly afterwards. I got to list my credits, thank who I wanted to, and at the very bottom of my bio, I said, been on Law and & Order. And then I did Law and & Order again, and I got to say, been on Law and & Order twice. And then I did it a third time. And I thought, you know what, I am the queen of off, off-Broadway theater. I've got this beautiful bio, been on Law and & Order three times. And now, I'm back. It's 30 years later, playing Lieutenant Dixon, I feel, actually, it's kind of emotional and kind of incredible. I started here, I'm back on a show that all New York actors love. We, it is so beloved in this town, and it brought this town back to life, really, when it comes to film and television. So I, it has a very special place in my heart, and to be standing here in this squad room with my name on the door is... Uh, means more to me than I can actually express right now. I, I was on Law & Order three times. One, I was a sign language interpreter because they needed someone who could sign and act at the same time. So they went to the sign language agency and said, we're looking for someone who can sign but can also act. And they're like, oh, we got this kid out of NYU classically trained, uh, and I got this job being a, a, a lawyer who could sign. And then, I'm not sure that that was the first one, I could be out of order here because 
the only thing I retain is water, so this is really hard for me. <laughs> it could have been where I played a woman who was kind of an activist for pro-life, and that was one of the characters I played. And then I played uh, a foster mom whose kid went missing, and she seemed to be the last one to know about it. I think it's clear why fans come back year after year. They first love all the people that they come to know and love. You know, they follow them through their lives. They watch them care about humanity. I think because all of the stories are very pertinent. They're up to date, what's happening in our culture, in our humanity. And uh, people feel like there's this group of you know, fearless fighters trying to get justice. And they know that their stories are being told and heard. And I think that's why they come. I also think they're the master of procedurals, you know? You can drop in anytime you want and get the whole story. And you can also get the essence of each and every character and carry that. Um, I don't know, you fall in love with it and you know what to expect, you know what I mean? You know the characters to expect and you know that it will be, an incredible story will be brought to you. It will be looked at at every angle, looked at from every point of view and it will be resolved and justice will be served.